right guys in this video we are going to be looking at how to create this abstract uh, blob animation inside of fusion initially i made this animation inside of blender so this animation is inspired by one of blender 3 tutorials and it was quite possible to achieve the same animation inside of fusion so here inside the fusion what you have to do is first of all um, start with a shape i'm going to be using um, shape 3d for this click on add so let's take a look at the shape 3d and by default it's set to plane we will change it to sphere and then we can also go to transform and scale it down so it'll be something like this then in the controls you can also increase the base subdivisions and height subdivisions so that it is more smoother after the shape 3d you can add in a displace 3d to this so displace 3d is at the same as the displace 2d but this will work in a 3d space to this displace 3d we will add in a fast noise to this so this is your second icon at the toolbar just drag and drop it and just connect it to this displace 3d right now we can change some settings in the fast noise um, but before that let's just make sure we are looking at the displace 3d so you can see that it already has this um, weird looking shape now the fast noise we can go ahead and uh, increase the scale and you can just play around with different settings just make sure at the top over here click on this arrow and from this list we'll select shadows so you'll see it more clearly what we are doing with this and yeah there you go if you look at the top over here you can see that it's looking quite weird over here one way to fix this is by adding a rectangle mask to this Let's add this rectangle mask to this fast noise and you can increase the width and the height and increase the soft edge a little bit. So that's how I was able to get rid of that weird edge. Uh, so this is before and this is after. But we are not going to display this side. We are only going to face the front side of it. All right, so there you go. That's how easy it is to create it. Now you can go to the fast noise and increase the C rate. So we'll have an animation, a continuous animation. Now it really depends on the fast noise. If you increase the scale, you can see we get these really cool uh, spikes kind of a uh, look. I'm going to undo this. You can even change the detail. So you can play with the fast noise and change the settings over here. So I'm going to keep it something like this. So after the display 3D, we can add in a renderer 3D. Let's click on add and we can connect this renderer 3D to the media out so if you take a look at this media out the render 3d by the way it will turn your 3d uh, scene in back into 2d scene so if you take a look at render 3d this is how it's going to look i know it looks terrible uh, but the reason for that is because there is no lighting or the shadows in here so if you click on lighting and shadows if you check both of these then it will turn black and now all you have to do is add in a light and for that we have to add in a merge node between the displace 3d and the render 3d so let's click on displace 3d make sure it's selected and then we will hit shift space bar and type in merge 3d and to this merge 3d we can add our light so there are various lights um, inside of fusion there is ambient light if you search for ambient there is the ambient light and then there is a spotlight as well and then there is i guess point light and then there is a directional light as well for now we will stick to spotlight so search for spotlight and click on add and let's click on the spotlight and in the inspector we can go to the transform and increase the uh, z position and now you will be able to see your shape in here go to the controls and if you change the color of the light it will reflect in the final animation We'll just keep it to white for now and you can change the decay type as well it will just it gives you some really cool results if you play with the decay type over here you can change the intensity of the light as well and the decay rate as well uh, for now we will just go ahead and uh, let's go to the shape 3d and go to transform and i'm going to just push it back in the z space something like this and then in the spotlight i'll go to transform and change the position of the spotlight so that uh, we can focus on this abstract blob over here so i'm going to go to, uh, go to the controls over here and 
I'm going to just increase the cone angle so that it covers the entire thing. And also let's increase the penumbra angle as well. There you go. That's how it is going to look. If you want to change the color of the shape, you can go to the shape three over here and in the material, you can um, pick any color for your shape over here. And then there is an option for specular, which uh, will basically determine how your material will look if, if whether you want it to be shiny or you want it to look like a clay. So if you increase decrease the intensity, uh, you will see that there is no shininess in the in the final render. Uh, and then if you would change the exponent, nothing will really happen because the intensity is zero. So now if I set the exponent to, let's say one and increase the intensity, um, you can see that it uh, pretty much changes the material specularity. So um, I like to keep it like uh, the default values. I think they look good. Um, so yeah, there you go. You can go to shape 3D transform and you can pretty much uh, animate any property from here and change it to change the rotation and all that stuff over here you can control the size as well and then if you want to add uh, more shapes all you have to do is add in a shape 3d click on add and on the shape 3d uh, let's just uh, change it to let's say a uh, torus so let's take a look at it this is how it's going to look it's kind of like a donut and uh, I can just pan and zoom around. And I'm gonna reduce the section so that we have kind of like a ring. And I'm gonna increase the base and the height subdivision so that it is more smooth. And now all you have to do is just uh, merge, connect it to this Merge 3D. If you now take a look at the media out, this is how it is going to look. Now we just go to the Shape 3D, go to Transform, and we can just pretty much uh, rotate it. And, uh, and you can even change the Z position like so. So just uh, the key thing is the lighting over here. Make sure you set it up correctly. You can just rotate it as well if you want. Something like this and that's how you'll be able to add more shapes. So yeah, I guess that is pretty much it. That's the basics of how you can uh, create this abstract animation. So if you play this, you can see that it is um, animating. Let me just uh, disable high quality and motion blur because this uh, effect is quite resource hungry. So I'm going to also use the playback to quarter resolution and let's play this. You can see that the preview is much better. So now it all depends on how you want to make your scene look, how you want to animate it, it really depends on your creativity. But that's just the basics of how you can create this effect inside of Fusion. I hope this video is helpful. I hope uh, it will help you in your upcoming projects. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next one.